Hello there. Thought I'd do a quick tasting video of the Breda Rose from Firestone Walker. Ooh, not too much funk on the nose. Real subtle background funk. I get more, I mean, you definitely get the raspberries. Yeah, you kind of get like a, you know those uh, Calistoga uh, sparkling waters? There's like lime and lemon. I don't know if there's like a raspberry, but if there were, this would smell exactly like that. You almost get a slightly Calistoga chemical sparkling water essence. You get a little, maybe a hint of oak, but it's definitely... You gotta hunt for it. it. Smells good, but I'm not blown away by the by the aroma. Get raspberries. Hmm. Not super complex, but still mildly interesting. Okay, not the best sour I've ever had by any means. Um, pales in comparison to some, some complex uh, Russian River, you know, consecration, supplication type beers. Uh, those are totally different anyway, and this doesn't claim to be that. Uh, you do get raspberries on both the nose and the palate, and you do get good, nice uh, acidity and, and sort of fruit balance. It's a delicious beer, but it's almost like an extra sour goes or goza that's uh, kind of one dimensional. Um, you know, it's funny. I read about this. People are kind of going nuts about it. They're talking about getting sort of like real funk backbone and like kind of blue cheese and some layers of complexity. I'm not seeing it. Uh, I think those people are wrong. Um, Yeah, to me, it's it's a fun beer, but it's not complex, and I would not go seek this out given the price point. Uh, I'll drink it, and I like it, but it's uh, it's absolutely not a complex, rich uh, thinker of a sour beer by any means. So that's all I have to say about it. But a uh, big fan of Firestone Walker. Uh, I'm not trying to diss them. They're a great company. They make good beers. Um this is just not uh, living up to the hype uh, when you read the reviews online and some of the other reviews I saw on YouTube. Sorry, guys. Disagree with you.